You know, every time we talk about Indian democracy, we proudly call ourselves a secular republic. We boast about how diverse we are, about how we have a constitution that guarantees equality to every citizen, regardless of caste, religion or gender. But today I want to call out this hypocrisy because when we look closer, especially during elections, you'll recognize that we are still living within the tight, suffocating walls of our caste system. And this isn't just happening in remote villages or small towns. No, this is our reality, even in the urban centers of modern India. Let's discuss the most recent general elections, the so-called Festival of Democracy. What happened during the 2024 elections? Every political party, without exception, played the caste card. Politicians spoke about development and growth on the surface. But when you strip away their polished speeches, you'll see that caste is still their most powerful weapon. What's even worse is how they openly appeal to caste sentiments while pretending to promote equality. They create caste alliances, appease different groups and divide us based on caste identities. It's a double-faced strategy. On one hand, they tell us we are a secular nation, caste should not matter. But on the other hand, when the election's time comes, it's all about which caste can give them more votes. Tell me, how is this any different from the feudal systems of our past? You know, I recently heard something that opened my eyes further to this hypocrisy. It was a simple question. When we give someone respect or consider them elite solely because they belong to a higher caste, aren't we indirectly disrespecting those from the lower castes? Isn't that a form of discrimination we don't even acknowledge? Why is it that someone's honor and societal standing are linked to their birth? Let's be honest, no matter how much we talk about equality, there's an underlying notion that a people from certain castes deserve more respect, more power, more opportunities. And those from marginalized castes, they're still seen as lesser, even in 2024. This form of silent discrimination is rampant across our society, but we choose to ignore it. We are told time and again that India is a democracy where every vote counts and every citizen's voice is equal. But the reality, elections here are more of a castocracy than of a democracy. In so many parts of India, you are not voting for policies, development or vision. You are voting based on your castes, based on the caste alliances politicians have carefully crafted. Look at how the caste calculations played out in the recent elections. The Yadav vote bank here, the Dalit vote bank there, the Brahmin consolidation somewhere else. In Bihar, UP, Maharashtra and other states, each politician knows exactly which caste group to appeal to. They play us against each other while maintaining their own privileged status. And where does this leave us? Divided, weak and manipulated. So how can we claim to be a secular republic when caste still dominates every aspect of our society from politics to marriage, from workplace to the village square? How can we be proud of a democracy where people are judged not by their merit but by their birth? And how can we talk about gender equality when half of our population that are women are trapped by both their caste and their gender? We love to say that we are past the caste system and that we respect every religion and caste. But let's not kid ourselves. When the biggest exercise of democracy, which are the elections, revolves around caste, when we still hear caste-based slogans and promises, where is the equality in that? It's high time we wake up. We can't just continue to tell ourselves that we are a modern emerging nation while clinging to these outdated and damaging divisions. Politicians need to stop using a caste as a crutch to gain power. And we as citizens need to recognize the damage this is doing to our democracy. Respect should not come from caste. It should come from merit, from character, from humanity. And until we truly break free from this mindset, our democracy will remain nothing more than a thinly veiled castocracy. Finding this story interesting? Then stay tuned with the Cognizant Crow for more such videos and never let your curiosity die.